Let's go to better minds about what this means, what it tells us about the state of play, and how it fits into the other headlines today. You had a big Supreme Court situation uh, today. You had Vladimir Putin give a two-hour interview where I've rarely heard somebody speak as long and say as little of value. News Nation political editor Chris Steyerwalt, legendary Democratic strategist James Carville, who should be feeling pretty good in this, in this moment right now. Chris, uh, really interesting first that you can still have operational integrity in the White House, meaning that you and I didn't know what this was about until he came out uh, and started to speak, although he did speak about the obvious event from today. What did you think about uh, his performance and his decision to perform? Well, he was in a real tough spot, and I'm sure a lot of Democrats were having deja vu uh, to the report that uh, the Robert Mueller, not Robert Mueller, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting my special investigations yeah. mixed up. Too many prosecutions, uh, you get James confused. Comey, that, <laughs> that's right, that James Comey uh, dropped on Hillary Clinton at a similar point in her 2016 uh, campaign, mm. uh, coming out and uh, not charging her. Uh, but uh, saying that she was a, a, a fink, basically, that mm. she was a liar. And uh, Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton uh, responded to it, but it kept burning and kept burning. And Democrats are in a similar situation this time, which is to say, Joe Biden doesn't have an integrity problem. He has an age problem. Uh, and he is seen by a, a increasingly large uh, majority of Americans as too old to do this work. And when you have it uh, on paper from the FBI, it's written down. That's what that's how they saw him. A well-intentioned uh, uh, elderly gentleman uh, with a poor memory. So Biden was obliged to come out and do, as you say, come out and say, no, no, I am sharp. I am tough. I can do it. Right. And watching Biden, my heart, my heart was really with him because I thought he's, he knows he's, he's under pressure to do this. This is a pressure play. He's got to do it and he's got to come out and be sharp and be tough. And he did okay, but then it wasn't all great. And it just is the, it's the bind well, what's that the not great uh, he part? and his party find themselves What's the not great in. part? What, so, what do you think that you wish, he, if you're one of his guys, you wish hadn't happened? Well, I think uh, having the, uh, the the press pool there the way that it was and shouting questions and chaos, again, these are about trade-offs. They wanted to get out there quickly. James can speak to this better mm -hmm. than I can. They wanted to get him out there quickly, so they got the reporters in there fast. It was a tight space, shouted questions. Biden well, but that's was, only bad uh, for us. Got... That's not bad for him. Well, Having them shouting things I... like that at him, it just makes reminds people why they don't like the media. Well, that's true. But when you have numbers as low as ours uh, in, in the press in terms of favorability, we <laughs> but can't. We're like gaggles. There's, not, there's about. not much. It's all about shouting the most obnoxious things so you can distinguish yourself from the gaggle and get a sub stack. I mean, you know, that's what they're doing. But now, I, you know, go ahead. But I, I don't I don't think that the what Biden needs to be able to do is have authoritative commanding performances right. where he can dispel these questions. And that's what he wants to do. And while he certainly had moments where it was clear and he mm. was speaking forcefully, there were other moments where he slipped into his mumbles. There were other moments where he mixed up. I think he mixed up uh, Mexico and Egypt. It's it's hard. Uh, it would be hard for anybody at any age. But he's under Jimmy, such it's intense also hard. scrutiny. I, I hear you, Chris. Jimmy, it's also hard when there's been a standard that's created, okay? When it was former President Trump, nobody said, uh, other than the fact that there was talk of the people around him of invoking the 25th Amendment, which people seem to forget, uh, nobody's saying that about Biden, uh, where he would come out and he read the word Thailand as Thailand. If Biden said that, uh, you'd, you know, you'd be ready for him to have a lobotomy. Uh, so there's a little bit of a, a relative standard here. But I thought, Jim, that his line about uh, my memory is so bad, I, for, I forgot, I let you speak. I thought that was one of the best lines he's had at a presser since he's been president. What was your take? Wake up, Carville. What'd you think? Oh, that's for me. Okay, I, just, I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought you said, sorry, Chris. Uh, yeah, I, I, what, I, what struck me is this is something he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. He looked like he was mad. I, I, I don't think the staff had to talk him into doing right. this. I think he was raring to go out and do this. What I also thought was interesting is he addressed one major political problem he has, and that's what's going on in Gaza. Uh, that's causing a lot of angst in, in the country, and particularly within the Democratic coalition. And he went out of his way to say that they were working with everybody trying to get aid now, which I think politically uh, was, was necessary. I don't know if it would do any good, but it was necessary. 
But having said all of that, the problem is, is this kind of confirms an existing suspicion, which mm-hmm. is always dangerous in politics. When people think something, they get a piece of information, they go, yeah, Martha, you see that? I told you that guy was old. And, and his problem is not so much what Trump people or Republicans, there are a lot of Democrats that have doubts about his age. But I think he did as well as he could have done under the circumstances. That, that's what, that, and did better than I, I didn't know what it was going to be about. Like most of us, I figured this was what it was going to be about. But this is not going to go away. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, And you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.